Today on The Breakfast, Shegu Oni has taken a swipe at Ayo Fayo Shea and the People's Democratic Party alleging rigging in the Ekiti State PDP primaries. We have party members from both sides on the program this morning. Also, the Joint Admission and Matriculation Board has announced the introduction of two new subjects. We look at the implication of these. And of course, we cannot have a complete menu on the breakfast this morning without those juicy headlines from the national dailies. These and more ahead on the breakfast right here on Plus TV Africa. A very good morning to you. It's another day of uh, interesting discussions right here on Plus TV Africa. We're glad to have you. My name is Kofi Bartels. And I am Messi Bopo. It's a beautiful, uh, very first day in the month of February. So it's okay to say Happy New Month and welcome to February. January actually finished very fast. Oh, yes. It I could mean, be it the fastest. <laughs> it couldn't have fin finished faster than it did, Mercy. We were just fastest waiting. January we were like, carry your hala go. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it always like that, though? I really don't know, but oh, I, you man. know that time is actually a human factor. Yes, yes. So it's just in the mind. By the way, Happy New Month. Fast, same to you. You know, and you, you're, you're, you're radiating, you're glowing. Uh, amazing. Amazing. Okay, when you Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> which which stories have we been uh, been been looking at? I mean, uh, of course, Nigerians having conversations online, and what we try to do is to bring some of those conversations on the program. Um, yesterday, there were there, it was a day of intrigues, really, like a roller coaster day. I'm sure you you followed the uh, declarations on on the different uh, platforms. Yes, I did. Which one did you watch? Well, uh, so a so couple of declarations. Uh, you also have the governor of uh, Kano State, if I'm not mistaken, mm -hmm. uh, Minu Tambowal. Yes, Sokoto State. So Sokoto State? Yes, yes. Okay, yes, Sokoto yes, State. Yes, yes, indeed. Who's actually made his declaration. I mean, that's because you have a lot of persons, mm -hmm. uh, you know, declaring their intention to become president yes, indeed. Yes, uh, indeed. of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. It's quite interesting because, first of all, as a Nigerian, it's a constitutional right. Everyone has a right to contest. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I mean, everyone has a right to vote and be voted for. That's yes. what, that's yes. how it's been stated in the Constitution. Absolutely, so it's okay. Absolutely. It just makes it more interesting. And absolutely. people say that's I, I mean, the beauty of democracy. Crazy. Democracy, yes. I mean, I mean, for, for those of us in the media, we'll be doing this. <laughs> We're rubbing our hands because you know it, it's what we, we live for. We want to see. We want to see these things, um, the declarations. We want to see activity. Um, you know, maybe, maybe a bit of a distraction from the negativity in the news these days. Just to uh, keep us keep us distracted. How, how, how does it, how does that really even keep you away from you know the negativity? Oh, because you have something you need to talk about. You know. Um, let, let's not underestimate the, the effect of um, uh, the, the hardship and the, the bad news, the negative news on Nigerians. I realized something, Mercy. I moved into Lagos State from outside Lagos State. Lagos is <laughs> a center. Course. Lagos is a center of um, entertainment in Nigeria. Do you know why it is the, the, the height of entertainment is in Lagos State? Because mm -hmm. the height of stress is in Lagos State. Mm. Okay, so, so that's so, your theory. Yeah, people are looking for what to use to counter that stress. So you could you could play some blast music in a market in some other part of the country. People would just be walking by. But go to that go to Lagos, go to maybe Oshodi or Balinde and blast that same music. People will just start dancing. <laughs> so so I, I think I think it's a welcome distraction from you know some of the uh, negative news and the reports. And also we in the media we want to see these stories because we want to report, we want to interview the guests. Um, but but more importantly, Nigerians have been talking. You know, um, Tambuwa made his declaration yesterday. His name has been one of those names that has been out there, you know, for some time. I'm sure you'd agree. You know, um, it's been somewhere around there. And of course, he's been very influential as the chairman of the PDP Governors Forum. And then the, the process that, that led to the emergence of um, uh, Ayu as the chairman of the uh, PDP in that Congress, um, you can see the governors had a, had a, a, a big role to play. And, and, and Tambuwa seemed to be um, a uniting factor, you know, bringing all the, all the um, disagreeing sides together, even with the um, uncertainty that, that followed the Uche Secondos episode, and then the role that Yes Wike played in all of that. And you can, if you remember, some, some governors were, were siding with, um, with Uche Secondos. It was Tambuwa, you know, as leader of the PDP's governors, governors from who was able to bring all these 
sides together. And you can see each time they went for the PDP's governor's forum meetings, you know, they had that, if you remember the, the press conferences with the address, and Tambo was there. You know, so all the, 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 the um, disagreeing sides, you know, all the governors who were going away, and we're not happy with Wiki, you know, um, you know, this perceived perception of those of us outside, and we're able all of them to come together. And Tambo all is, is, his name has been around there. You know, you so know, and another person that also made you know a declaration is a former governor of Imo State, Rogers Okorachara, who's mm. also stepped out. Mm. That's mm. also generating mm. a lot of conversation. Mm. Oh, yes. And yes. you know, for the street language, some people will say, "Just remember five people." It, 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 it just remember five people were never declared for, for president. <laughs> but it just makes it very interesting. That's interesting. Now, for the PDP, you seem to have a lot of persons who have come out to declare their interest mm -hmm. than the one to run for, mm -hmm. um, you know, the office of the president. And the question would now be, will the party... Uh, elect you? Would you be the flag bearer of the party? Yeah, because now that, from yeah. you know, from being from the fact that you are declaring your interest, mm -hmm. you also have to uh, look at the issue of internal politics and yes, democracy. Indeed. Yes, indeed. If you know the party will actually deem you fit, yes, you know, candidate yes, and all yes, of that. Indeed. So this is what's going on. But fingers are crossed. So we also uh, keeping fingers crossed and anticipating that you have more persons making declarations but, and but, wanting to become president. Yes, but in, indeed, indeed, it was um, <laughs> it was another day. Of, I mean, Rochester, Rochester Korcha um, is, uh, is uh, a seasoned politician. You know, um, if you, you, you need to have followed him over the years to know that he has always nursed this ambition to be president. I think if, if I'm not mistaken, he, he grew up under the tutelage of one of the prominent politicians in the Southeast. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it should be Namdi Azikwe. I need to check. I need to check. But um, if you've been following Rochester from... Uh, Nigeria's return to the early days of this republic. I think in 2003 or 2007, I'm sure in 2007, he made it, he was part of those who contested for the presidential ticket, I think of the PDP, if I'm not mistaken. But I, if I also am not mistaken, in 2003, he was out there for another party. I think he must be either ANPP, one of those PP parties that we had back in the day. Um, so Rocha Zokorcha has been, he only just, uh, he only um, stepped down a bit to go down to a lower level of ambition, which is the governorship. But he has been at least two times, if not once, twice, uh, a candidate or an aspirant, and he's contested a party primary. Um, I need to check, but it should be once or twice. All right. So um, I remember watching his speeches, you know, back in the day, um, years ago, and, uh, you know, say, ah, oh, this man is sounding like he, um, he, like an American, you know, you know, so he's had that that uh, motivation. You can you can sense it. You know, in his speech yesterday, um, because he advertised it on his social media platforms, he said he was going to stream it. His speech yesterday sounded like I have a dream. <laughs> oh yes, 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 yes. His speech sounded like I have a dream. Nigerian version. I mean, Senator <laughs> Rochester Okocha was. Um, he said, "See, I'm not going to speak from any script. I'm speaking from my mind." That shows I. No, but I, but, but one so thing. I, I was yeah, please. Yeah, so, so one thing I know Rogers Okarcha for, uh, that I've always known him, I mean, I haven't ever known him as a politician, mm -hmm. but as a philanthropist. And that, that was, you know, when I was quite young. Okay. Watching right. the television, seeing <laughs> documentaries of him, <laughs> you know, okay. philanthropy for work okay. and all of that, doing mm. a lot of charity work. Philanthropy, you say. Yes. <laughs> so that's what I know <laughs> him for. <laughs> but so mm. I, along the line, then I started thinking that maybe this was also a stone, a stepping stone mm -hmm, to him, mm -hmm, you know, um, wanting to be involved in politics. Okay, and that's, okay. What that, that, that's what you felt. No, that's what I felt, okay. you know, mm. recently, in okay, recent that, time. Okay, that he, now, on hindsight, that he may have used be, that to, be, because he to win the hearts of Nigerians, exactly. right? Exactly. Okay. So, okay. because okay. If, if you want to talk about mm -hmm. Rochester or Korocha, I mean, I would, you know, want to throw back to when I was still a teenager or mm. thereabout, and then you begin to see that he did a lot of philanthropic works mm -hmm. and uh, he was just all about giving people aged. helping <laughs> and the aged and all of yeah, that. He did. You know, you know, you know. He for, was just quite outstanding. Yes, and then I said, you know, who was this? You know, I kept on know, asking questions. Who was this? Then who? all of a sudden, there's a Rochester who's saying he wants to become president. Yes, there's a Rochester yes. who's So remember those days of his presidential ambition, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He, 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 made some, he made some interesting, you know, statements. You know, for instance, he said that... Um, uh, um, what do you call it again? Uh, this is uh, he said that um, he was he was poor. He was he was not poor. He's never been poor outside politics. You know he was wealthy before, 
he became a, you know a politician true so he said he also said that he's not a candidate of um uh of zoning he said he's not a candidate of zoning and if you can look at the the speech he made he he made he said a lot of things about the unity of nigeria i mean he's even said to have um you know recited a, a, a verse of the quran Yes, yes. <laughs> he, he spe I think he speaks house. Okay, so. Yes. But he also said he's not in politics. I'm not in politics for what I can. I'm in politics, rather, for what I can give. In other words, he's not in politics for what he can get. Because he said, he actually, I think you know. he, there's some part where he said he's richer than him was state. Yes. And all of that. You know, he says they owe him, I think, 8 billion naira. <laughs> yes, they owe him 8 billion naira. The state owes him 8 billion naira. Um, um, you know, so that, that, that's what he said. But the thing is, he, as his declaration held at about 1 p.m., if I'm not mistaken. That's when I actually swiped to see the uh, this. But then at about 4 p.m., I saw another headline. EFCC charges Richard Zucorocha, 2.9 billion, you know, Naira missing from state coffers, 17 count charge. I said, what is going on? What is going on? So um, at night, I, I listened to him. I watched him, and uh, he, he sounded really um, not too happy, not too happy. You know, and the fraud charges against him, he's denied them. He's saying that uh, there's no proof. He's called on the judiciary to be firm. He said that they should not rush to take, you know, things like this. And I think, you know, deep down he feels, you know, unhappy that his, his day, his day was, um, was, was, was cut off. Yeah, Please. everyone actually feel like that. But it's okay if you have an invitation, you have to respect it. And uh, um, I'm sure the law would actually take its course. If it's not guilty, then, of course, he would actually... You know, be let go. So, but so, 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 someone said on someone said he should have the EFC should have waited till first February at least. Let him enjoy his stay, <laughs> and then use this charge as happy new month for him. You know, but well, you know, let's see what happens. What's happening with Skid Maker Bayou? Well, uh, the uh, issue with Skid Maker yeah. Bayou is the fact that he's been accused mm -hmm. of having to um, ask some. Fans. I don't know if you, to put a word fans okay, for okay. some sexual pleasure before. I, I really can't, you know, put my no. hand on top of that. Mm, okay, right so, so 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 this this is is, is some sort of apology um, for his past deeds of of, of demanding uh, uh, sex from ladies to feature in his kits. I like Bayou. Bayou is 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 in recent time um, one of the few you know comedians out there. I don't really watch all these things all the time. You understand? But since I came to Lagos, I've increased the hours I spend watching the skits. But he is one of the, you know, comedians on Instagram who has made me laugh like I almost fell on the ground. I mean, I, it's, it's, it's hilarious, really, really. So to hear, to hear that he's apologized and you know, all that there are allegations of um, uh, him demanding sex for ladies to feature in his skits, um, I, I, I think that it's, it's good he has come out to apologize. But the details of this for me, would not lie in, in speculations, you know. Um, there were screenshots of him asking for sex from ladies to feature in his kids, which emerged online. Screenshots, you know. And, and, and this is just a, probably a lesson to the young people, especially with the men, you know, that, uh, you know, whatever you do online would always, may always come back to haunt you. So you have to be careful and you have to do the right thing. Um, so some of the ladies shared the screenshots of their conversations with him, you know, especially the moments he asked and begged for inappropriate videos and photos. But Messi, is this fair? You well, know, you know, a, a guy chats with you and he's asking you, send me, um, you know, we call it, or what do you call it? Day, sorry. Mm -hmm. Send me a picture of yourself and, 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 you know, maybe a nudie and all that. And then he becomes a star, he blows up. Or you know he's a star, and you screenshot and save it. And after a while, release it. So, so whether it's fair or not, uh, it depends on who is actually going to define all of that. But I haven't really been a fan of you know people asking for sexual pictures or nude pictures. You know, it, it doesn't really make sense to me. That's my personal opinion, and I feel like. If you are actually attracted to a particular person sexually, it would be okay, to, you know, to have your conversations and get straight to the crux of the matter. Mm -hmm. uh, so, what's the idea of you, you know, sharing pictures? Because for me, yeah. uh, I, I always think, you know, I always think about the future. 
So I, I'm here, I'm thinking about the future and what happens in the future. What if I, I have some, yes, I know that our society in Nigeria has, hasn't evolved, you know, to that particular position where we have, uh, where we begin to, you know, hold political leaders or people accountable for their actions over time. We haven't got to that part because we find a lot of politicians, a lot of people who are vying for political offices who have been, you know, accused of one action or the other that are not morally right. And these are moral so, so, issues. So, so, I, I, and so, I, I, so, so, I, I, so what I, I'm saying I, is, well, for well, me, well, well, my concern yeah, yeah, is... Yeah. It's a no-no because for okay, me, so, 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 I feel so, like a lot can you know, actually you know, happen, and I feel there, like there's something you you say sometimes yes. here, which is that you know you ask you what would you do? You say it's not you. You won't say. I think this is one of those situations. Now you and I have our moral standards. Okay, you have yours. I have mine. You may not. You may not believe in in drinking or smoking. Someone does. If this guy um, asks these ladies for screenshots, um, or he begged them for videos. Number one, he's saying, he's saying he's begging them for videos. Can I have a screenshot? Can I? If he was, can I? Online, send me something. You know, can I see? He may not see that as wrong. People do what they call sexting. If that is how they live their lives. If you, you save that, you say no, and you move on, and you save that, and then years down the line, release it. Say, oh, he asked me for, for, for nudies and all that. That's blackmail. Sorry? That's blackmail. It means that you have an evil intent. Because someone asked you, he asked you. It could be like maybe saying, okay, can we meet up and make up? You say no. And then you save it. And then one day you release it. What are you reasoning for? You want to disgrace him. It's blackmail. There must be a reason. Okay, but when, when there's sexual harassment, sexual harassment, then of course that is not acceptable. We've seen what's happening with Mason Greenwood. Okay, we've seen what's happening with Mason Greenwood and that of, that of course has been condemned. But if it's just a request and you say no, and you move on. Okay, so, 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 if, so that, if we're that's even one, going to get one. into, if we, then if you, we're... Have, you have, you have, because I really do not like judging situations, especially, you know, I told you Sami, you know, or they said, oh, this woman, uh, Messi Aigbe. I will be the last person to judge Messi Aigbe because I do not know the details. And I'm not there when they, when they close their doors. So, you know, so, people will jump on it and say, Messi is a husband snatcher. Really? So, so Kofi, let's even come to the fact that because we don't have time, right? And before I even got into this conversation, I said, this is what I think about it. It's my opinion and that's my stand. I don't mm -hmm. indulge. Mm -hmm. I have been in a situation where a couple of persons would ask for it. And I'm like, no, it doesn't make sense. Mm -hmm. I don't even fancy it. And that's me. That's me. And I can't judge everybody by that standard. But let's even bring it back to, the, to what we're talking about. The issue of saying the reason that you're asking is so that you can actually engage them in your skit. So that, that, so it, so that's, 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 that's the, the, the second lies. the second part now. So, so no. that, that's so where the question that, lies. That, because that, 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 is, person, that in because itself most is, times is not acceptable. You, you, you find yes, a lot yes, of people, yes. I mean, mm -hmm. we talk about a lot it of issues. For, for me, I yeah, said that there are so many Nigerians who don't have a moral justification to talk about issues, not to even call the president to some of the things that the president is not doing. Some of us should not even talk about it because we're not doing right. The thing about it is mercy. Who? 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 No, it's not a matter of who so, I mean so there, the, there are things that some people yes, would actually yes. have strength over and others would mm -hmm. not even have the strength over my point exactly is this if we talk about sex uh, sex for greed I'm, I know you are very conversant with that you know mm -hmm. phrase mm -hmm. and all of that statement mm -hmm. and the conversation people would say you need to get sex before you're given a particular grade that's also a big argument I don't know if you understand so that's already it's it, you know it's one on its own and so we can't even be having because some of these people are also agitating and pushing the cause oh you can't so, do that so, but so, they're doing so differently the, 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 Coffee, the, we need the, to practice, go now. The practice, we of, need time. To go the practice of, of asking of asking people who say, "Oh, I want to feature in your in your skit or your comedy," to give you sex before um, you allow them feature is wrong. That one is is hundred percent. There's no so, debate about it. It's so wrong. it's the same thing. That's so, what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. That those who champion the cause against sex for grades mm -hmm. might also in different other sphere of their lives where mm -hmm. they are in control mm -hmm. asking for the same thing and it doesn't make sense. So yeah, if yeah. it's a different thing if you have some consensual agreement with a lady, you approach and you guys uh, get to a point where you have mm -hmm. an understanding and then you begin to get into that because so, there will so, be an so, offer so the, and there will be a take. The, 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 circumstances, the circumstances for me, like I said, if, if, if he has asked these ladies 
to give him sex, just to have a role in his skit. And what if he, it, didn't, he, it is, what, is, what if he didn't feature the ladies? Yeah, excuse me, sorry, let me know. It's, it's, it's wrong. It, we shouldn't be seeing people, um, uh, you know, get roles simply because they, it must be on merit. You understand? It must be a And I think even in Hollywood, we've all condemned, or a lot of people have condemned that you, you, you know, a, a director will ask you for, for sex for he or she gives you a scene. It's wrong. It's wrong. So, but I'm not, I'm not in support of, of um, you know, taking someone's screenshot if he was having a conversation with you, just a casual conversation and what they call sexting. You understand? And not, not demanding or asking. And you screenshot that and you put it out. I am against that. I'm against blackmail. You understand? But if, if it's about the asking, he asked and said, you must give me this before I give you a role. That's wrong. And I think it's good he has come out to apologize. And I think he, he, he needs not to do that again. And even champion a cause to speak against that and preach again. We have to go. We have to go. Um, uh, we have more coming up. Of course, um, we'll be speaking about the EKT PDP primary. The aspirants have been clashing over alleged rigging. And uh, the jump issue, Mercy, in two new subjects introduced by the Joint Admissions and Matriculations Board. But before then, let's look at what the papers have to say on the breakfast.